Well, hello. Thank you for joining me. These are the parish announcements for the Tomorrow River Lutheran Parish for May 9th, 2021, which is, of course, the sixth Sunday of Easter. Happy Mother's Day. For those of you who are mothers, there is no way to put into words the value of what you do and the depth of gratitude that all right-thinking people feel for your work. Thank you. May God bless, protect, and keep you in that office. For those of you who are bereaved on this day, and this day is a day of pain, know that you are in my prayers. Know that God is faithful. And know that God feels and hears the cries of your heart and will walk with you in your loss. For all of us, happy Mother's Day. May God be glorified in it. There continue to be three opportunities for in-person worship this week at the Tomorrow River Parish. There is an indoor 8.30 service at Peace. There is an outdoor 9.30 service at Nelsonville. At that outdoor service, it is mask optional for those of us who have been vaccinated. And then there is a 10.15 indoor service at Nelsonville. It's important that you, uh, that you pre-register. Both of those indoor services have attendance caps and the only way we know where we are is if you uh, if you pre-register so that uh, we can keep track of, of how many people are planning to come make sure you're registering for the service you actually want to attend and this last week was better we're in our third week now of, of this new system uh, and every week we have fewer people registering for one service and showing up at another uh, God willing we'll get really good at it just in time to not need to ever do it again so uh, uh, we'd love to see you in worship. Uh, let us know to which service you're coming. Uh, check out the rules for that particular service. Uh, basically, the indoor services have all of the rules. Masking, social distancing, you know the drill. Uh, and the outdoor service is, uh, is getting freer and looser uh, as the CDC allows. All right, um, there is a greenhouse sale that's happening at the Amherst High School. Uh, the, the plants that have been grown by the kids there this year are available now for sale. That's Monday through Friday from eight to five, Saturday from nine to one, and the proceeds go to the Amherst FFA. So uh, get there, get early, uh, early when there's still a great selection and support the kids in the Amherst FFA. Crossway Summer Camp registration is open. There is a link there below this video where you can uh, enroll your kids. Uh, there is money from for Nelsonville kids to go. Talk to Grandma Anita about that. And we are working on getting you a clear answer about what level of support peace families can expect from the congregation. I will get that to you as soon as I possibly can. The prayer list uh, is, uh, everything on it is pretty familiar. Uh, you've seen it in past weeks. There are still families families uh, that are in mourning. No one is in the uh, first month of their grief, the initial stage of grief. Uh, and so there aren't any families listed, but you know, we've, we've had an awful lot of, of loss in the last couple of months in the parish. And I continue to ask that you would bless and protect and, and care for those families that are, uh, that, that are in fresh grief. We have uh, parish members with COVID, uh, including a member who is hospitalized. Uh, and so uh, we continue to, to, uh, to work, uh, to do everything we can do to uh, shorten the, the extent and the grip of this pandemic and to pray for those who are ill. Uh, Perry has entered hospice. We talked about that last week, but we'll continue to pray for him and for Bonnie and for the kids. We uh, were informed at church last week that we have a connection to uh, a soldier who is being redeployed to Afghanistan for the fourth time. Uh, we forget, you know, we see the headline that, that we're winding down our presence there and we forget uh, that there are still soldiers being deployed there. There are still specialists who are, who are covering our withdrawal uh, and, and protecting the other soldiers as they as they wrap up uh, that deployment uh, and so we have we have people very close to home who are now in harm's way and we remember to pray for our military families 
Betty's surgery went very well, thanks be to God. Uh, the man who's facing possible amputation of his legs still has them, thank God, uh, but he is not out of the woods yet. Uh, there is a, a, a guy with a two-inch cyst on his kidney that has surgery this coming week, and so we'll be praying for him. The rest of the names you've seen, the rest of the situations are as they have been, and so I continue to ask that you would be faithful in your prayers for these, our brothers and sisters, and that you would find ways to love and support them in the midst of their troubles. Um, we are continuing to collect materials and support for our personal care kits. There's a link on the top of the website that says care kits. You know, we do three different flavors of them. We do the baby kits, we do the personal care kits, and we do the school kits. And anything you wanted to contribute uh, from, from uh, a bunch of pencils to completed kits, we would be glad to receive. We send out hundreds of these kits every year, and your participation not only is welcome, but it changes lives. Both quilting groups continue to solicit um, large pieces of fabric. Whatever it was in the first part of its life, if it's clean and big, it can be become part of a quilt that goes to refugee camps uh, and, and cares for people around the world, and so I commend that to you. Uh, finally, a reminder that TRAC continues to, to serve this community. TRAC is the Tomorrow River Area Community Kitchen. It's our food pantry. We have uh, hours on Monday mornings and Thursday evenings, and by appointment, there is no reason for you or anyone you love to be hungry. We would love the opportunity to meet your need in Jesus' name. So those are the announcements. I do thank you for your kind attention. I thank you for your support of the parish, your prayers for me and for Pastor Gretchen and for our family. We are grateful indeed to be witnesses to all that God is doing here. Bye-bye now.